They've gone three of five since this fourth quarter started. Pass to Dotson to the inside. And he caught that pass in full stride on his way to the big slam. Well, that possession to me highlights the importance of creating for your teammates. Here's Dee. Here's Shamit. Soft touch off the glass. Assisted. Shamit's got his first points in this one. And trust me, when the D's slow to react, he'll be the first guy to make them pay. And that's typical of this guy. He's always reading the situation, reacting quickly and capitalizing. The Suns have gone 6 for 11 here in the fourth quarter. Kaminsky finds Payton. D. Nice assist and nice finish. Solid play all the way around. Give him 35. Well, what you want to see from Alfred Payton are floor general skills on full display. Finds the open teammate. Nice. Outside Garland. Pass to fall. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Oh, explosive crossover. How's that for a move? Down low. The steal. Here's Osman. Here's Garland. Played it in with a nice touch off the window. Garland's gotten four this quarter. I like the toughness required on that finish by Darius Garland. Boy, oh boy, that was nice. The willingness to mix it up on the interior, so important. Inside, here's D. The rebound by Osman. Cleveland has gone two of four from the perimeter here in the fourth quarter. Here's Dotson. Here's Fall. Pass to Stevens. Oh, Kaminsky with a steal. Here's D. Peyton up top. To the middle. Here's D. Good setup. Led him to the rack perfectly for the layup. He's carried much to the scoring load tonight. And with the win in reach, don't expect him to let up. Here's Dotson. Pass to fall. Outside Garland. No good on the shot. So Phoenix will take it the other way. Next up, the Knicks in New York. They're getting into the back half of a four-game road trip. Deflected! Fast break, Cleveland. Here's Stevens, and the layup is good. The best way to get a clean look is with those quick hitters on the break. What a beautiful fast break opportunity, and the finish pretty good. It's picked off. Pass to Osman. And I think we're all giving more attention to health and well-being. Grant, anything the league can do better to protect player health? Well, I know they've tried to cut down on travel and minimize back-to-backs, but at the end of the day, you're playing 41 road games and 41 home games. That's what it is. It's a marathon. It's going to be hard, and it's an endurance race. And so, yeah, maybe reducing regular season games, but I'm not sure that's an option. So sometimes you just got to grind it out and get through it and hope for the best for your ball club. Cleveland calls timeout. There's just a lot of wide open lanes to the rim here. <laughs> That'll drive your coach nuts. Well, poor rotations, poor communication. There's a lot to figure out right now. And now we present our New Balance player of the game. He has truly put on a show out there tonight. Tearing it up on both ends of the floor. So impressive. And the other squad has looked helpless to stop him. You know, some guys aren't the same player on the road. Not this guy. He loves sticking it to an opposing crowd, and it only adds fuel to his fire. Now here's Allen. Out to the wing. Pass to Garland. Clock at six. Sexton finds love. Shoots over Paul. Oh, that's good. Love's got 10 points in just the second half. As bad as he was in the first half, that's how good he's been since. 
Here's Booker. And another basket for Phoenix. Analytics say don't shoot the mid-range shot. Sometimes the best scorers are efficient in that area. Devin Booker, one of those guys. Sexton with it. And it's McGee picking him up. McGee against Sexton. Pass to Love. Back to Allen. The floater. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. It's on JaVale McGee. Well, this is exactly the kind of position you want Jared Allen shooting from, right? He gets excellent position, makes defenders nervous this close. Good job drawing that foul. Booker against Sexton. Booker, good. Booker. I love this game plan. That's 10 points in a row from in close. Cleveland has gone three for five from three-point land since the end of the third quarter. Left side, Garland. Well, Brad, you've won the NBA Sportsmanship Award three times, tied with Mike Conley for the most ever. Wow, no, it is a humbling experience to get voted for that award by your peers. You know, it's all about, I think, trying to play the game the right way with integrity. And Conley is a guy that truly embodies that. Outside love. Let's go with a three. And the basket's good. Off the assist from Garland. Garland's got his fourth assist in this one. You've got to have a short memory. Put a poor first half in your rear view and now make an impact. Inside. Pass to Booker. Down low. Ooh, stolen by Allen. Yeah, he tried to gain position but couldn't quite get there. And he makes a first. Boy, even beyond Cavaliers. his signature look, Jared, Jared Allen is a true throwback big man. Uses his height to own the paint and just locks in on his strengths. Bridges outside to the paint. Here's D. Lays it up and in off the pretty assist. And he's got 41 now. You know, guys, that's the selfless attitude of Mikel Bridges. So willing to give it up to an open guy. And something else that really makes Allen a renaissance big is how he sticks to high percentage shots, Doris. Well, think about it. Field goal percentage at over 60%. He doesn't get outside himself. This guy earns his keep, earns his money in the paint. Here's Markkinen. And Markkinen with the stuff. Wow, showing the ability to create for himself and others. Darius Garland, good court awareness. Paul with it. Outside Booker. 127 left in the fourth. Ooh, stolen by Allen. And they were really able to find the mismatches they wanted and exploit those all night. Great execution from the players and coaching staff for the Suns. When you look at the stat sheet, it's impressive this wasn't a total blowout. Their offense was in top gear all night long, Grant. I thought the same thing, B.A. I mean, the difference in field goal percentages is pretty shocking. And they earned win number nine. Each win is so important in this league. And even though this season series was only two games, a sweep is still a sweep. Paul against Garland. Pass to Bridges. Outside Paul. Just five on the clock. And stolen by Markkinen. There's 37 seconds left in the fourth quarter here. Garland. It's deflected. And he recovers it. Allen finds Markkinen. Here's Garland. Such a strong defensive player. Bridges understands. I've got size and quickness. The rejection, yes, sir. D. Some solid defense from Markkinen. And here comes Cleveland. They trail by 14. And Garland with the basket on the assist by Markkinen. They're really employing a deep range initiative here in the fourth. And it's working. It feels like they have worked their perimeter game to perfection. Swinging the ball, cashing in from the outside. What a performance. Yeah, this is not what they needed. Now the clock has stopped, and their opponent is at the line. You know what you love about Darius Garland's potential? It's as a scorer in this league, right? Is he's so aggressive, he plays assertively. And that, to me, is the key for young players.